I know a lot of times we are, we're not very confident about getting a coach. We procrastinate about it. We say it's not worth the money. We say, what if it doesn't work? We say we don't have time to do the coaching. I don't have any personal friends that have done it with these people before. You have all of these things, right? Mine was my pride, my ego. So when you face whatever really it is for you, what is holding you back from doing the hard thing that will get you to where you want to go? Is it hiring a coach or a mentor? Is it dedicating one hour a day to lose that hundred pounds? Is it saying that I have to get up at 5 a.m. in the morning. I've got to stop saying three days a week, I'm too tired. You just got to go to bed. That's the part where, you know, you go to sleep first and then you wake up. I'm not very good at it. So don't ask me how to do it. What is it that's holding you back from really taking that next step? For a lot of people, it is pride or ego. For a lot of people, it's the lack of confidence in themselves. And we just don't tell other people that. We act like it's because we don't have time. Why? Because our brain is telling us we don't have enough time because we're trying to protect ourselves. It's all a mindset. I know that every one of us face challenges and we need to find out what that challenge is and attack it head on to be able to move to the next place. For myself, I've only ever really been able to do that with coaches and mentors. I've had mentors from the time that I was 18 years old, changing the way that I thought about life, changing the way that I reacted to life, changing the characteristics that I carried with myself every single day. And then it was coaches, right? Hired people to do these things because I need help. I don't know how to do this skill. I don't know. It, It can be behind closed doors if it's your ego or pride, right? That's okay. But you're going to see once you take that leap of faith that it's not something to be ashamed of. The people in that group are so incredible. There was a coach that we hired and would fly out to Tampa, Florida to go to these quarterly coaching things and stuff. And the people that I met there at that coaching program were the most happiest, passionate, smart, dedicated people I have ever ever met before. And I had no idea what I was getting myself into, right? None whatsoever. When I got there, it was just incredible. And we continued to build amazing relationships. Not only the coaching was very successful, but also the relationships that we built were really successful. At the end of the day, you're not going to know until you do it. But I definitely have lived that, lived the part where I said I wouldn't do it because of whatever reason. And you make the excuses that that's too expensive. I don't have time. Yeah. When I blank and really it's just because we're prideful. We have ego. We're not confident in ourselves. What if we were to do it and it didn't work? And if you just take the leave of faith, it usually does, (laughs) right? That's how it works. So I'll leave you with this because that's so good. Nick, I'm just, I, I love your vulnerability. I love your honesty. That is so authentic. It's so genuine. And It feels so good. It really does. Because I know a lot of us feel that way. And I'll say this, because this is something that I understand in my own life right now. And this is a question that I'm asking God in this moment, because I want to hire a coach. Nick is like, oh God, don't even, I I don't want to hear it. This is going to cost us money. I get it. It's going to cost us money. She wants to hire five at the same time. Okay. That's really good. And I will, I have been asking God the question, right? God, do we cut the check to cut the line or do we save the money and spend the time? That's a pretty good rhyme. And that's a great rhyme, right? Gotta be poets yes. now. So how quickly do you want to get there? Do you want to make your first million in a month or do you want to make your first million in 30 years, right? 30 days or 30 years. So anyways, That is what we've got for you guys today. This was jam packed full of fire. I'm so grateful that we did this. And I hope that you guys feel the appreciation, feel the, uh, the gratitude that we have for you guys, for the ability to be able to share this with you. Definitely leave us some feedback, man. Share, share what's real. Share what, how you're feeling as a result of us sharing with you today. What can you resonate with? What can you agree with, right? What makes sense to you? What are you going to go and apply to your life? What's that one thing, that small measurable thing that you can say, okay, 
I'm going to do this thing because it's sustainable and manageable, like Nick said, and do it every day or whatever kind of increment that you have for yourself. So anyways, we'd love to hear back from you. Take care. Have a great week and we'll see you next week.